We made our game look better by using the particle engine in Unity, and now we're going to make it sound better by adding some background music and sound effects to the game. Now on the website version of this tutorial, there's some good information from the Pixel Nest guys, so I would encourage you to click the link right above this video and read the information that they have about finding sound and music, different ways that you can do that. We have assets, and in fact, that is the website, the web page you're gonna to need to go to to get the assets for this. I've already downloaded them. There's explosion.wave, firecrackers.mp3, which is not the sound of firecrackers, it's actually the background music. Uh, shot enemy dot wave and shot player dot wave and so after you have those grab those and we're going to drag them into the sounds let me close up some of these things here so we have a little bit more room and we're going to drag it into the sounds folder there in our project and drop them and now we have to sit and wait for it to import those so i'm going to go ahead and pause this video and then come back as soon as that's done and we'll continue all right, we're done, and now we have to actually go through each one. Just select it, and in the inspector, turn off 3D sound. Uncheck that and click the Apply button. All of them are fast, except for Firecrackers. The, the song takes a little while to, to do whatever it does in the background to turn off 3D sound. So I'm saving it to last, because I'm going to do the exact same thing here. Hit Apply, and now I have to sit and wait. So I'll pause this and be back after it's done. All right, that's done, and so let's go hop right into adding background music for our game. And to do that, this is the Firecrackers background song. I'm going to grab it and drag it up here into the hierarchy and drop it. And then just for the fun of it, I'm going to go ahead and rename it, and I'm going to name it Music. Uh, I'm also going to position it at 000, which it automatically did when I dropped it, so I don't actually have to change anything there. But that's all I have to do. If I run the game now, we will actually have background music. Alright, so we don't have any sound effects yet for shooting or, or blowing up or anything like that, but we have background music, which is really kind of cool. Alright, so let's, I mean, that, that's it, man. That's how easy it is. Just drag it up there and it, and it starts playing. So let's see if the sound effects are as easy. Now, they're not, but they're not much harder than that. Uh, the difference is we can't just throw them up there because we need them to be triggered at a specific time. So we're going to create a sound effects helper script. And that is going to go, of course, right here inside of scripts. Create a C sharp script, and it's called Sound Effects Script. And again, uh, run over to the website using the link right above this video and do a search for Sound Effects Helper. Oh, yeah, it's called Sound Effects Helper. and grab that code and then we're going to paste it in here and just taking a quick peek at it we've got three uh, public variables that are of type audio clip and you can see that's where we're going to end up putting the explosion sound the player sound and the enemy shot sound and then we've got uh, three functions that are public so we can call them from somewhere else we've got make explosion sound make player shot sound and make enemy shot sound and each one of those just calls the function make sound with whatever is being with with the, with the correct sound and make sound all it does is calls audio source dot play clip at point all right so that is it for the sound effects helper and now we have to do three more things and we will be done uh, adding the sound effects and music this is going to be a short video what we need is we need one line of code that goes in when we want to uh, make the explosion sound, one line of code when we uh, when the player shoots, and one line of code when the pool piece shoot. I have the one line of code on my clipboard, so I'm going to open up Health Script. Let's go with that one first. And right here, after the the particle, after the explosion, the particle effect, we're going to paste that code in, and it's Sound Effects Helper dot Instance dot Make Explosion Sound, and it just calls that. It calls make explosion sound that is right here, which in turn calls make sound, which plays the explosion sound. Okay, cool. So make sure you save that. And then we're going to open up player script because we have the, the player shot sound. And so we find where he shoots, and, and it's right up here. If shoot, and then it's weapon attack dot false. So we'll just put it right after that. 
I'm going to paste this in, but we don't, we don't want the explosion sound, so let's just modify this a little bit. Player shot sound. Save that. And now the enemy script. And same thing after it fires, which is right here at weapon.attack true. And we will change this to say enemy shot sound and we will save that okay that is it let's go ahead and try that oh you know what oh, okay it is so it, it's so easy that I skipped a step and in fact uh, down here at the bottom you can see object reference not set to an instance of an object what does that mean well that means uh, two things I forgot to do uh, technically it's four things but the sound effects helper just like the special effects helper we dragged it up inside of this scripts game object in the hierarchy we need to do the same thing with sound effects helper so it's not like it's really hard I just blew it all right so we got the sound effects helper and now we need to fill in uh, these things right here we're going to open up our sounds folder and so here we have explosion sound so we'll put that right in there and then the player shot sound that must be shot underscore player and the enemy shot sound right there so the scripts that we put up in in the scripts folder in the hierarchy that's a special effects helper and the sound effects helper and we made sure that we filled each of those in with the correct things now let's try this So you can, you can hear the, the pool we have sound when they shoot. Oh, and there's explosion sound. Okay. The other thing you can do is, especially when you're testing this, um, things might get a bit noisy and it might be kind of hard to hear and stuff. Especially if you're wanting to test your sound effects and your background music is going. So I'm going to select music up here in hierarchy. And then there's a little mute button over here, or mute switch. So I'm going to set that. And now the background music won't go. But we, there's my shots. And you can hear the poopy shooting and the explosion works just fine so that's it that's all it takes to create background music and sound effects for our unity based shoot 'em up like the pixel nest tutorial says for a bigger game you might want to do things a little bit differently but for a small game like this this is a great way to do it now before we leave here i'm going to give you some homework and that is take this level that we're working on and add some more stuff to it add some poopy way out here uh, to the right hand side take some of these platforms add some to the background or not to the background the background is just the just the clouds and stuff so let's leave that alone unless you want to just try some stuff you know experiment it's your game uh, but add to add some some of the smaller floating platforms to the background elements layer and then some of the larger ones to the middle ground and add some more poopies all the way to who knows you could add some clear out over here and make it a really long level so that is your homework now remember you don't have to do anything with the with the cloud background it doesn't have to stretch out here because we have our code actually taking the one that disappears off the left hand side flopping it back over to the right hand side so you never have to worry about more clouds uh, you just need to throw in some platforms and things like that in fact we can stick this way out here in the middle of nowhere and eventually we will get to it and there will be clouds behind that and we can throw a, a pool pee out here also and eventually we will get to it and he'll start shooting at us like crazy so that's your t uh, homework for tonight is make this level longer add some more platforms add some more flying octopuses octopi and in the next video we're going to add some menus so that we can start and restart our level